So guys, it's your boy Mr. Man at THD, and I'm bringing you another episode of the Survival Island of Epic Epicness. And I'm picking up from where we last left off, just chilling in this cave here. I don't know which way to go here. Go back this way, pick up some iron. What am I doing? Let's use the iron pick for a bit. That's right. By the way, this gets some redstone just for the lols. Well, mainly for the XP, but for the lols also. Oh, bit of a lag spike there, guys. Don't know what's happening going on. I suppose it's not a lag spike, it's just a bit of frame rate. Um, now then. Um, where we left off, I think we were just about to explore this here, or no. I think my alarm went off, which just reminds me, I'm going to set my alarm, but I'm going to take away a minute or so. Set it for 15 minutes there. You'll probably get a bit longer out of these, uh, the two, well, I suppose it'll be four videos I've recorded, because, but the two things I've recorded today, You'll probably get a bit longer out of both of them, just because I've either forgot to start the timer, or I've added bits on and found something unexpected and forgot to restart the timer. Okay, so, to level 40 now, hope, if you get level 30 before you find diamonds, that'd be pretty awesome. Of course, we need to find diamonds in a vein of, uh, five minute. hopefully a minimum of five, just because then we can make the enchantment table straight out. I mean, obviously, it'd be really nice to find more. Wouldn't really be much. To be honest, less would be pretty epic, but... The more, the better in these kind of circumstances, if you know what I mean. That way. What are we doing? I'll call quite a few. Got carrots. I we got. Yep. I can't believe how lucky we've got with these uh, carrots and potato drops in this episode. Uh, series, guys. We want to do syndicates on it. Are we on normal render distance here, or...? Nope, we're on fire. Must just be getting a bit low down now, because that seems a bit dark to me as well. Okay. Go through here a little bit. Or oh, let's... Hmm. Oh, just clearing the leg, eh? I'm going to just race through this bit here. Get up to where the interesting stuff is. And we'll take the interesting stuff. Heard a skeleton then. We're not going to go to it though. Because skeletons are the biggest pain in the ass on this game ever. And also. Not not really much use in us killing them. For arrows or bones or anything. Seeing as there's a. Uh, Seeing as the spawn is right underneath our island, which will be right underneath our homes. I'm not sure if I'm going to make an XP farm out of it yet though guys, I might just make a simple grinder. Just because... Okay, now that... Now that's broke, um, I think it's time to upgrade our tools to be honest with you. And, yeah, as, as I was just saying, I don't think I'm going to make an XP grinder out of that. Um, out of the... Oh, sorry guys. Really just lost my trail of thought completely there. Not going to make an XP grinder out of that mob there, uh, spawner. Just because... It's more interesting to... Have to work for your XP. Well, in a series like this is, because... To be honest, XP's quite, got quite a lot to do with it. Well, quite a lot of it is to do with XP. Or will be to do with getting XP. I'd, I don't know, guys. I'm just not very good at talking today, I don't think. Um, what I was trying to say is it's more interesting than just going out into caves to get your XP rather than just sitting down mob mob air XP farm. I mean, if we find a skeleton spawn in our manatee let's play, in our um, manatee's first let's play, or the Minecraft LP of awesomeness as we've called it, on the channel, then I'm not going to be too fussed about making a farm experience farm out of that, that just because we need to go mining a lot on that one anyway. A lot more to do on that than there is on this. I mean if we get more subscribers hopefully I can ask you guys in the future when we start running out of things, ideas of what to do. When we've done a lot of the mining we need to get and we've got some diamonds but then I can start to Ask any people, anyone who subscribes to set me some challenges on what they want me to do on this, uh, 
this um, survival island because then it makes it more interesting. Ah, uh, it's turned an enderman somewhere. I'm guessing this cave kills back around. Oh no, it doesn't. These creepers really love helping us with the, these mob, our enemy mobs, don't they? So I know it's already paid for itself. Oh, my wrist starting to hurt a little bit here, I guess. Might have injured it at the gym before. Well. It's going quite well, I mine this coal, and um, it's apparently some iron too. And today, guys, I um, I don't know if I've spoke about this before, but what I'm trying to do at the minute, um, like job-wise, I'm not in college and I'm not. Well, I, I am working, but I'm not working. If you know what I mean. If I do, when I work, I work for my dad. Um, pretty much doing whatever the hell he tells me to do. Like, I think last time I worked with him, I was um, I was labouring for a roofer. You know, passing him stuff up and down ladders and cutting things for him, putting lead for him and everything so he could uh, waterproof the roof. But what I'm actually trying to do is I'm trying to get into the fire brigade. And today I went down to the um, local fire station near us and asked about joining the retained firefighter services. It was actually pretty good news. He told me that they were thinking of hiring. Um, I live in, for any of you who don't know, I live in Cheshire. And um, they're actually shutting down 50 fire stations here. And they said, because speaking to some of the guys, I was on um, a six-week co expand college course thing. Or, no, I don't know what it's called, but it's a six-week college course thing. And it's basically for people who aren't doing courses at the minute and aren't working. And the, um, yeah, I was with the fire brigade. And then I was speaking to some of the on-call firefighters there. And they were saying about the... Um, I was asking them what would be what would actually help me get into the fire service, and they were saying that well, this isn't all they said, but one of the main things they picked up from what they said was that when they joined the fire service, it was very like unlikely you'd get chosen out of all the people. You'd have to be good to do it, and they said now it's probably going to be even harder. Maybe not to join the retained fire ser firefighter services because you have to live. To be a retained firefighter, I don't know how much you guys know about this, but to be a retained firefighter, you have to live or, and work. Because it's, it's not really, an, it's not enough to, if you're a full grown adult with a family, it's not really enough to support your family. Not really enough to support a family and, a, you know what I mean? But for me, it'd be fine, because I'm going to try and work there for a bit, and then um, move into full time, 